All right, hey everybody, welcome back uh, to the YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing, always appreciate it. Today what I'm gonna show you is um, how to use your electronics to find a good fishing spot. And what we're gonna talk about today is finding an offshore hump and uh, how, I just, uh, I'm gonna show you a hump that I found and basically how I found it and what to do once you find it. So um, I've got an island here behind me and uh, I'm just going straight away from the island. Now, in most natural areas and <laughs> natural lakes, once you get further from shore, it gets deeper. Here, I'll just show you a good shot of the screen. So we're in 12 feet now and we're starting to drop off, right? You can see some good weeds. This is why I like using 2D on the left and DI on the right, is because um, I really get a good look at the weeds on DI. It's really great for that. DI is down imaging. So we're going out, we got 17 feet, it's getting deeper and deeper, everything seems normal. Less weed, of course, as we're getting deeper, 19 feet. Keep going. So we're getting further away from the island behind me, as you can see. And it kind of flattens out here. Actually looking at some fish down in, in the bottom. Of, whoa, now we're coming straight up, right? So now we're in 13 feet. We, we went down almost to 20, and now we're coming back up, which is not really, you know, you're heading away from the island. It should be getting deeper and deeper. Now we're getting a nice hump up here. So what I'll do is I'll go over to my side imaging right away. I put that right there and I'll try to get a good look at what's out there so now I got 2d on the bottom left di and uh, side imaging so now we came up and we're going back down right so what I'm gonna do you can actually see a lot of good weed on the two on the uh, side imaging so let's turn around so it looks like it's gonna drop off again so let's turn around Now we're already in 48 feet, so it drops off quite a bit. Let's come back around. Sorry for the shaky handheld. Let's just speed her up a bit. Let's get back on that hump. Now when you're looking for a hump like this, or you find a hump like this, my biggest suggestion is don't worry about fish. If you find a great spot, at some point there will be fish on it. So don't even worry about finding fish or looking for fish. Now, right, okay, now we're coming back up on it. So 20, we're back up to 19, 20. You can see some good good uh, tufts of grass, maybe some rock on the side imaging. Mega side imaging is so good. It's the clearest picture out there. So. I strongly suggest you get some mega side imaging. Now we're back up to 14 feet and it's gonna drop off. And I moved over a bit, so I'm not, oh, look at those rocks on there. All these boulders right there, those are boulders. That is what you're looking for. You see the black part behind the boulder there? That's the shadow because the beam is going sideways and hits the boulder. And it can't go through the boulder, so it just draws black behind it. So now we're back in seven feet. Okay, so now we know that there's a hump here, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna map out that hump. If we have time, really the first thing you're gonna do is fish it, right? But once you've fished it, uh, you wanna be able to map it really well uh, so that you can come back and uh, fish it the next time. So just, there's a beautiful big log right there all by itself. I get very excited when I find good fishing spots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna map it. We're gonna use AutoChart Live. So we're gonna go to our mapping screen right here and we're going to go menu get that again auto chart record see it says record on okay and now we're going to start mapping it so all you're going to do now is clear the screen for you you can leave 2d on you can leave di on and you're going to drive all over the hump and you're going to map it So I'll tell you what, let me do the mapping now and I'll come back to you when it's done and I'll show you the hump, uh, what it looks relative to everything around here. Be right back. All right, so there you go. I've mapped out the whole area and you can see right over there, the big hump. In fact, I'm gonna make it a bit easier for you. I'm gonna clear the screen, clear the track. 
get rid of that track, exit, okay. And there's, you can see the hump perfectly. So I've mapped it out with AutoChart Live. Um, and then I'll always be able to find it. Anytime I come back, there's the hump right there. I can mark waypoints on it where I, you know, spot specific spots on the spot that I caught fish. But the most important thing is that you mapped it out. So um, you'll always have a reference when you're on the lake looking for ideas where to fish. There's one of your spots right there. You see, you notice that hump and you won't find that hump on other brands of, of maps. They're just not that precise. The most precise map you can make is one that you make by yourself with Auto Chart Live. Uh, so you can record eight hours directly on your unit. So any Humminbird Helix and above that has GPS, even an older version, will have Auto Chart Live built into it, um, as long as it's a GPS unit. And uh, so you can record eight hours directly onto the unit, and that's so you can try it and see if you like it. If you want to do more, you buy what's known as a zero line card. I'll show you right here. Oops, and my map's gonna disappear, but. There's the zero lines card right there, right? Um, you see, I took it out, so it's telling me, well, it was telling me that it's gonna save to the unit. And now I'm gonna put it back in. So if you do eight hours, yes, I want it saved. This is just telling me that now the card's in, it's gonna save to the card. So if you did eight hours without a card, and then you buy the zero lines card and put it in, that eight hours that you recorded is automatically gonna be downloaded onto that card. You don't even have to push a button. Uh, so likewise, if you forget your mapping card, um, you can just record and then get your card. When you pick up your card, put it in, and, uh, and it'll all go on it. So again, I'm just gonna say this, menu to auto chart, and there's your record. You turn it on, it's on now. Turn it on, turn it off as you need it that simple to make the most high def maps point is you don't have to do your whole lake when you find a little hump like that auto chart live it and then you'll really get to know that structure thanks again for watching guys i'll uh, i'll be back with some other videos pretty soon appreciate it please hit the hit the subscribe button have a good day